One of the biggest myths about budgeting is that it's super restrictive, and now that you're budgeting, you're never gonna have any fun ever again, ever. Hey, can't wait, sign me up, please. And while personally, I think knowing I can afford my rent every month is a total blast, budgeting can actually afford you way more fun than you might think. <sighs> look at us. Hey, look at us. Who'd have thought? Here at You Need a Budget, we believe in first funding our necessary expenses. Think rent and monthly bills, then we put aside money for those non-monthly expenses, maybe clothing or dining out. Then once you get the hang of budgeting, you might find yourself with a little money left over. Cue the wish farm. I don't actually know what an authentic farming hat looks like, but this is definitely not it. Now, the wish farm is our fun little way of making sure you're saving for the things you want while still paying for the things you need. First, you're gonna start by making your wish list. Oh yeah, hear that? Oh, nuggets. For me, I'm gonna put down a new bed for my dog, a sleeping bag, because I'm still using the one that I won at a third grade raffle, the complete series of Friends, now that it's not on Netflix. I really wanna try that peel and stick wallpaper in my kitchen. And honestly, I really want to learn piano, and so I've been wanting to get a keyboard. Oh, <laughs> and actually, I don't even have a DVD player, so I need that so I can watch Friends on my new DVD set that I'll be getting. And this is totally unnecessary, but that is the point of this exercise. I really want one of those blanket ladders for my living room. They're an absurd amount of money for a ladder that's not even functional, but putting it on the list because it's a want. Blanket ladder. Okay, so here's my list, feeling pretty good about it. I definitely want all of these things. Now that we have our wish list, there are four steps to using your wish farm. Step one, we plant. Now for this demonstration, I'm just doing a written wish farm, but normally you would do this in the app and I'll show you how to do that later. So now I have my wish farm. The rule with the wish farm is that you can only have three wishes in your wish farm at a time. One small, one medium, and one large. The size of the wish is determined by the dollar amount. So for me, a small wish is anything $50 or less, a medium wish is between 50 and maybe $200, and a large wish is anything over $200. But before any of your wishes can move from your wish list into your wish farm, it first needs to have a researched dollar amount attached to it. So the bed that I've been looking at for Julep right now is $45. The sleeping bag on Amazon was $23. $3.99. According to Amazon, the complete 10 season series of Friends is only $55, so that's going on for sure. For the wallpaper, I'm thinking more of a backsplash, so I'm really only going to need like 20 feet. Less than $2 a foot. So let's budget $40. The keyboard, the one I'm looking at is about $4.50. The DVD player, I'm wrestling between just a basic DVD player and then a DVD plus Blu-ray player, which is like 65. Let's go on the upper end and do 65, even though I own no Blu-rays, but you never know. The blanket ladder is currently $67 on sale. So now I have a researched dollar amount attached to every item on my wish list. So let me categorize these by small, medium, and large. Bed for Julep is small. Sleeping bag's the mall. DVD of Friends, actually that's medium. Mm. Wallpaper is small. Again, only a, a, ba a backsplash. <clears throat> backsplash. Keyboard, large. DVD player, 65, so that's medium. And then the blanket ladder, 67, also is medium. So now I'm going to move one small, one medium, and one large wish from my list into my wish farm. I'm gonna pick my top three. Out of the smalls, I just really want that new bed for Julep, my dog. Out of the medium goals, DVD player, cause I can't even enjoy friends until I have that. And honestly, who needs a blanket ladder? but I want one. And then I actually only have one large goal, so keyboard it is. Okay, so we have a full wish farm and our wishes are planted. Step one, complete. Step two, we water. Now we're gonna pretend that each one of our wishes is a tiny plant, and what do plants need? This is a fake plant. This is a fake plant. Plants need water. Now, obviously we can't take a watering can to our budget, 
easy as that would be. So the way that we water our plants is by trickling any extra money we have into them. So say I budget out all my money for the month and I have $65 left. I'm gonna take that 65 and I might throw 10 to my small wish, 20 to my medium wish, and whatever is left. 30, $35. I'm gonna throw to my large wish. Now, I could also do that differently. I do have $65 left over, and that's exactly the amount I need to get my DVD player. So maybe I just fund my medium goal all the way, get it, boom, it's done. Step three, we harvest. Now, when all the money is there and you fully funded one of your wishes, it's time to reap what you've sown. Congratulations, you diligently and patiently saved for that thing you wanted, and now you can buy it totally guilt-free. The nifty thing about the wish farm is that you can also swap your wishes in and out whenever you want. For instance, my friend Dave wanted a cast iron skillet. He had it on his wish farm, it was almost fully funded, and then he received one in the mail from a friend. So he swapped out the cast iron skillet for another wish he wanted of the same size, and he was that much closer to getting that want. And step four, time to plant a new seed. Now for a paper wish farm like my own, that's as easy as crossing off the funded wish and replacing it with a new one. But in the app, step four looks a little different, so let's go hop over and check it out. So now that we're in the app, we're gonna walk through the steps again. So step one, plant. So I've made my wish list and I've entered every item on my wish list as a separate category. I also indicated over here the size as well as the price of each item. So the three items I want to plant in my wish farm are the bed for julep, the DVD player, and then I'll also throw in my only large wish, the keyboard. So step two, we're gonna water our wish farm. As you can see up here in To Be Budgeted, I have 111 extra dollars after I budgeted out for the whole month. So I'm gonna divvy up that money between these things. I think I'll put $20 toward Julep's bed, maybe 40 toward the DVD player, and then I have 51 left. Do I like that? Mm. I'm gonna lower all these by a little bit because I really wanna work toward that goal of the keyboard. So now we've watered our wish farm for this month. As you get extra money that comes in throughout the month, feel free to trickle it into your wish farm. Plants love water. Right guys. So now we're at step three where we get to harvest. So let's go ahead and pretend that I've transported into the future and I have $58 left to be budgeted. Now, if I wanna fund my small goal, I have enough money to fund it the rest of the way. If I add $30, I have all the money I need to get my bed for Julep, which is good because she started eating hers. I have $28 left so I can decide if I wanna put that toward the DVD player or the keyboard. I could even slow down my goal of getting the bed for Julep and put 10 over here, 20 on my medium wish, and have all my wishes watered for the month. But I'd rather get Julep the bed, so we're gonna go ahead and fund our small wish completely. Now I can harvest this wish by going out and buying her bed. So now we're on to our fourth and final step, planting a new seed. And this is where we have to pay attention. Now, before I go out and buy a new bed for Julep, I need to make sure that I'm dealing with my wish farm responsibly. If I were to simply go in and delete this category, there would be multiple instances of activity that wouldn't be accounted for. The $15 we put in in January and the $30 we put in February. So instead, we're gonna move the money from our wish to the appropriate category. Julep is my dog, so I'm gonna move this money to dog. Now when I buy Julep's new bed, the money will come straight out of the dog category, as we can see over here in our budget. This ensures that none of the activity on your budget will accidentally get deleted, and it won't mess with your reports. And now that we're ready to plant a new wish in our wish farm, I'm gonna take the next goal I want to fund and retitle my small wish so that it reflects the new wish. I hope this gets you excited to start budgeting for the things you want and love. Though budgeting may seem restricting, it's really just a responsible way to get exactly what you want. So best of luck on your wish farm and get ready to reap some sweet, sweet harvest.